what it do, YouTube. Um, I hope everybody out there being safe, you know, being smart. It's hot as fuck outside. I know. Nigga, I'm sweating thinking about it. But uh, today, I just want to talk about basketball. Because I've been watching the bubble. I've been watching the playoff games first. Wait, game one. I'm doing this shit off the dome, by the way. And one thing sticks out to me. Damian Lillard don't give a fuck about nothing. I'm going to let that marinate for a second. The fact that this man has put the Blazers on his back from the start, the restart of the season, on up to game one, is it blows my mind. And it's the fact that everybody has snubbed this man for so many years, talking about he ain't a superstar, he ain't this, he ain't that, and you, you know it's them bitch-ass niggas at Fox and ESPN saying this bullshit. But all this shit putting fuel to the fire to make him ball out on everybody. The fact that this man is pulling up from the logo for real, you would think there was a magnet in the rim and in the basketball. Like, it is ridiculous. Some of those shots just look crazy that he's taking, but they go in, so I can't really say shit. As for the Lakers, man, I don't even know. It looks kind of like a Cavs team, but in the West. And a better Kevin Love. Like, Anthony Davis is doing his thing. LeBron obviously going to do his thing, making historic numbers and shit like he did last night. But they got to do something defensively to stop Lillard. They got to do something to stop Melo. They got to do something to stop McCollum. They just need to do a lot on the defensive end for starters. And they got to start making a lot more threes. Because... Well, Portland, sure, Damian Lillard might go cold, might get two points for a third quarter or something like that. But then you got to think about, hey, that fourth quarter, when he fuck around and get two threes, three threes, now you got a problem on your hands. Like, if you think about it, this man can drop 30 on your head at any given point and then go to the booth and drop a 16. How many people in the NBA do you know who could actually do that? But, uh, yeah, all in all, though, like, it's been good so far. I know I know people ain't supposed to overreact over the first game or anything like that. I don't think the Blazers are going to beat the Lakers, per se. But if they did, I wouldn't be surprised because there's no home court advantage or anything like that. And there's no real matchup for Lillard. Like, they need Rondo. The Lakers, that is, they need Rondo or Avery Bradley. They need a defensive player who can really hang with them. But if you can't stop Lillard, you're not winning this series. Because if you can, shit, if you stop Lillard, McCollum going to go off. So really, the Lakers really have to get their shit together now. Because if not, man, it's going to be too fucking late. And LeBron can only do so much. Like, shit, the nigga put up a triple-double and they still lost. This ain't, this ain't the first time we've seen this before. But I'm. this is just... First game, I ain't gonna overreact. Um, I just want to hear what y'all got to say about it. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell.